again, everything's really tight here, so it's a little bit of a challenge to be able to, to get it in. We just want to make sure we're somewhat careful that we just don't want to be pulling strings just for the sake of pulling strings because you don't want to separate your plies and start wrecking your project. So let's trim this and voila, the bottom piece is now done. So now let's move on and we're going to now do the flower next. So we're going to do the handles next. We should do the handles next and then the flower because the flower is the final touch. So let's review the handle area. You're going to notice that you cannot see the stitches that are used to hold this handle and that's because the stitches have been done on the inside that actually shows that is actually attached to the stitches on the inside of this that does not protrude through and you don't want to start going through because then you'll wreck the whole beautiful edge that you have here now the designers of Bernat they decided to go one and a half inches from the edge to the center point on both sides so that's what we're going to do here so grabbing your little ruler or actually let's grab a handle first and I want you to feed it onto like a, a darning needle so this is where those long pieces come into handy and you just put both of them through. And what we want to do is that we want to look for about one and a half inches. Nothing's ever exact. You can just look for it. Like that. And I'm looking at it. Okay, one and a half seems to be right here. So I'm going to be going in on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to go about maybe an inch or so down that and I want to come on the inside but I want to stay on the inside stitches so it doesn't protrude through okay and I'm going to go through a couple of strings there and I want to pull that through and pull that handle nice and close to it so when I go to look at the other side you won't see it there because I'm on the inside of the stitches so now it's up to me to fasten this handle down using the inside of these stitches so I want to kind of go over top right onto the handle itself and then again just peel it back a little bit so you can see it and then just go through some more stitches that are the strings are on this side of the panel okay you want to be a little bit gentle you don't want to start reefing on anything and pulling things out of alignment and again just pulling it nice and tight into position so that's how you would uh, sew this in so I just want to keep working my way just going across making sure that I'm getting that handle you know you don't know what's going to be in a purse so you don't want to put anything in there that's going to be uh, too too heavy and wreck your purse so you're going to want to make sure that you have secured this nice and tight so keep going with that and I'll just show you how to cast that off and then I'll leave the rest for it, uh, you to do as well and then we'll do the flower next now that I have this all secured nice and tight you can see how tight that is and you can see that there's nowhere on the outside that you can see that this is the string that's protruding out and I just want to kind of go under some stitches that are on the actual handle itself I'm just going under and I want to just kind of tie the string in a knot so you can do that with all the remainder of these handles I would do uh, one side first and uh, like to finish off this side before moving to the next and therefore you can just kind of really align it perfectly and just again just tying it nice and tight and then what I would just do is just to make sure just put that straggler piece through so we know it's already tied so now we can just pull it through and then just tie and just cut this off nice and short and you'll never see it so that would be your step for doing your handles so there's the first handle and again we just want to match it to the other side and do that next so now it's time my handles are now on you can just see that the tension that I used uh, with the crochet is a little bit different and my bag is actually a little bit bigger than this one here but you know everybody's tension is different and if you're really tight it could actually be smaller than this one and that one so now it's time to apply our flower and we're just going to do it here. Now looking at the sample, do you remember how I had you leave on an extra piece? You know, it's the end. And we're going to use that same piece and we're just going to attach it to the inside just like this. Okay, and we're going to stick it up so that it's just underneath the handle there. So it's just part of it, but then extending into the gray. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to come up and we're going to apply our darning needle to it. So just again it's the string that is going to the flower itself and we're going to start in the very top because we know then it's the very top and we're just going to come in 
and we're just gonna just come underneath the handle just like so and we're gonna position this and we're just gonna go all the way around because this is red we can go on top of the flower and the inside without actually anybody knows noticing it at all so let's do that next okay so we're just gonna continue to pull it through so nice and tight and we just want to get the top piece of there aligned to the top just like that and now from the other side, I don't want to go too much on the inside here because I just don't want this red to be all over the place. So if I'm going to jump any distances, it should be on the flower side because it's matching the color. And it doesn't matter which direction you want to start fastening it down with. But I would just go just a, you know, just a smidgen over because you don't really want that red to be showing too much there. Coming in, pulling it nice and tight. And we want to come into the flower. And again, we just want to kind of nail that flower into position. And so we're just going to grab it by piece. And we're going to jump, a significant jump here. Okay, so we're going to just do a little piece here. And then we're going to do a significant jump over there. So then we can actually move the distance on the flower and not within the, the yellow. So I just want to be on the yellow just for a smidgen again. Okay, back out. Don't get your handle stuck in there. And again, I want to come into the flower again, just on the underside. I want to jump a significant distance, and I do, I do want to measure it out. So that's how you'll do that, and then we'll finish up this project, and we'll classify this as done for today. So the inside of my flower, okay, it's all now attached, and I want to just tie it off. And I want to make sure I tie it off on the red side. I don't want to tie it off on the inside so that you see any of the knots hanging off of it. So I'm just going to just go around the flower on the inside there and I just want to tie a knot just near the edge but safe enough that it's not going to be showing when it's hanging off. Oops. Okay, and that is going to be it for this flower. And now I'm just going to take this straggler, now that I know it's tied off, I'm going to take the straggler and I'm going to drag it on the inside of this flower. Okay, see how I'm going all the way through? Just going to go on the inside like there, just going to drag it through because now I know if I safely trim it in the center here, whatever falls out is going to be underneath the flower instead. And you'll never see it. And there you go. So, that is the flower there completed. Well, here we have it. We are now complete. My purse over here, this is the designer's purse from Bernat.com. You can see that they're pretty well identical. Mine actually has a little bit of a shape to it, like almost like a, a V shape to it, where this one was more straight, and it could just be my tension and my hook. My handles were a lot longer as well, but my flower is smaller. So it just is interesting how your attention plays a factor when doing these projects. Either way, they're both good to go, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. On behalf of Bernat.com and the Crochet Crowd, I'm your host, Michael Selleck, wishing you a great day and wish you success with this project.